Hey everyone, this is Brimster, and this is number 118 in the Sudoku problem series. Um, this is a killer problem submitted by Solver Tom. So the goal on this one is to place the digit in the cell marked with an X, um, and this is a killer problem. So the digits in the cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage, if given, na na, and digits cannot repeat within cages. So um, there is a link below to where you can get a copy of this grid so you can try it for yourself. This one has been listed as medium by some of the testers. Yeah, we'll see how this one goes. Some people may think it's easier. Um, and um, what I'm going to do is wait for a few seconds so you can pause the video to give it a try. And then when you unpause the video, because you'll do that, um, I'll be back to explain how this one works. Okay, so this one should be fairly easy. Um, at least I thought so. I looked at this one and was able to see immediately what was going on. So the whole point is to figure out what can go in this cell. And we don't want to actually look at what can go in this cell. We just want to look at what can't go in all of the others because these digits are all fairly restricted. So this three sees all of those cells. This C three sees those two cells by killer logic. This three sees those two cells by killer logic. And this three sees this cell by killer logic. So we cannot put three into any of those cells, but we have to put a three in the box. So we put a three in the middle and that's the solution to the problem. Some of the testers thought that this was a little bit harder because it wasn't obviously communicated what was going on. Um, sure, but this is a this is a very important killer trick to learn, which is where the cages and the fact that certain digits, like this three knocking the three out of those, even though it's in a it, it doesn't see it by anything other than this weird stretched out cage. Very important trick to understand. So um, I felt this was a, a very, very good problem to uh, to highlight the fact that, you know, this three in box seven actually forces um, three out of those two cells. And that's an important thing to know. And same with this three in box nine, knocking three out of those. Very important. So I hope you enjoyed the problem, short as it might have been for you. Hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving. 